When we're painting the landscape, we want to be able to capture a wide variety of types of clouds, from fiery sunsets to foggy, soft mornings. Clouds can add mood and gesture and drama to our paintings, so we really want to be able to do them really well. We can take some steps to easily capture any type of cloud we want and really make our painting sing. So I'm going to outline five pretty simple steps. Number one, we want to sketch in, in the overarching shapes of the cloud masses. Number two, we want to identify the average value of those cloud masses and block them in. Number three, we want to identify the average value of the sky and block that in. And then we want to add the lights and darks to the clouds. And number five, we want to adjust the edges. The most common color associated with clouds is white. However, if you start out with the whitest white that you have, you might not have what you need to get the highlights and the real quality of light that you want. So we want to start by lowering the key of the cloud masses just a bit so we can add those light areas later. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is show you what not to do. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to come along, and I know this seems like the right thing to do, to put the sky down and, and the clouds are floating on top of the sky, right? Seems like it makes sense, but we really don't want to do it this way. Okay, you can see already that I'm having to press really hard. It's already, you know, I'm already just about filled the tooth of my beautiful pastel mat, pastel paper here. So this is what mm, not to do. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to establish the major cloud shapes. Just going to really lightly sketch them in. So we're planning for these. Really easy does it. And kind of come down here and say something about the land down here. Okay, so the next we're going to establish the average value of the cloud mass. And remember that we're going to lower the key a little bit. So I'm thinking that somewhere in this neighborhood, not up here, not up here. And remember, we want to use some colorful grays for this. So I'm thinking, maybe is that a little too dark? Maybe a little too dark. Something like that. It's a little too light, so I have to come in between. How about that? That's pretty good. That's the right value. See that? And it's kind of a blue gray. So I'm going to come in here and just mass in the cloud shape, just like so. My next step is to pick an average value for the sky. And I don't want it to be too dark, and I don't want it to be too light. It's the average value of the sky. Now my next step is to add the lights and the darks. Add a little bit more color, a little bit more lights. Some lights, I think that'll work. lights to the sky, to the clouds. I'm going to add some darts to the clouds. The undersides. bit 
more value to the sky. A little gradation in the sky. Now I'm going to play with some of my edges. I want some soft edges. Now if I want to, say something about this ground plane. Hi there, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us out and click the bell icon to get notifications. We have lots more coming for you.